today I wanted to make a video on luxury bags that I've owned and I sold and why. Um, these are the type of videos I like to look at to see or get ideas if I should even buy the bag to begin with. So if you like this kind of content, just stay tuned. The first bag I sold was my ultimate dream bag. It was the Artsy MM. I saved up for it and the first thing I noticed was that if you put too many items in there and it got heavy um, it would sag because it's kind of like like a hobo bag and I hated that so I bought like a what do you call it like a plexi type of bottom of the bag that would make it keep its shape from Etsy and then I realized that it was just a gaping hole where you would put something in there and you literally had to turn your bag around to find your items um, it is such a beautiful bag unfortunately it was just way too big it made me feel disorganized so because of that I sold it. the second bag I owned I have slight regret over I had the LV um speedy multicolor 30 and it was a vintage bag that i got at a very good deal i bought it for like six hundred dollars um it was in used condition so the handles needed like replacing they were cracking um again it was just a big hole type of bag and I bought a organizer as well from Etsy and it was just a bit too small so there was like a gap on the side and you would just lose everything in there. Um, I am into the multicolor um, collaboration so I feel like I should have just kept it for you know collection purposes but I'm into a stage where I no longer need every bag that i want that i like i'm just gonna keep what i'm gonna use so i ended up selling it and slight regret um the third bag i want to talk about is the louis vuitton eva clutch bag in the azure print so i've done a few videos on my channel um on the eva clutch bag i did keep the damier bean while i bought that one first the brown one and I love that bag so much that I wanted it in the other patterns so the second bag that I got was the Zor which is the light one and I bought it for resale and I spent like $1,500 on a bag that one sold for $700 um, because I just wanted it to be in very good condition and I could just not wear the bag. It was just way too light. I seen so many videos online of how it color transfers. And I just spoke myself out of it. I didn't want to use it and not be able to resell it if I had to. Or if I wanted to down the line or lose a lot of money in reselling it. So the third bag I sold is the LV Eva in the Damir Azure print. One thing that I do as well is I do not only shop the the women's section of luxury stores. I like the men's as well. I like it a little bit more than the women's. So the next item that I sold was the Gucci belt bag. The Supreme belt bag um, with the red and blue belt. And the reason why I sold that one is because... The belt is adjustable, but to a certain point. I'm a 25 inch waist um, person, so like a size two, and it does not get small enough to where it fits comfortably around the waist. So fit me big, so it was like falling down. Um, so I do not recommend it if you have about a 27 inch waist or below, if you're looking into getting that bag, but it's so pretty it's i love bum bags but that's the only reason why i sold that bag and lastly well it's not the last bag that i've ever sold or um slg it's just the last one for the video i had the gucci gucci sima 
I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, a sling bag men's, um, it's like a backpack, like a chest bag. Um, love that bag. It fits so much. The interior is beautiful. Um, but the strap started to fade. Um, and a lot of people told me you can take it back to Gucci or whatever, but the, 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 um, belt, the strap started to fade with the summer or with the heat because it was like an everyday bag for me. It was black and it was carefree and it just started looking purple. So I just decided to part ways with it. Thank you.